Skiffs like this Hell's Bay have really good rod storage under the gunnels, which means that you don't have to worry about stepping on your equipment when you're traveling or fishing. However, there's a few things that you can do to make the most out of the storage and be able to get to your equipment as quickly as possible. For example, if you're fishing with both spinning rods and fly equipment, most people will spin with their left hand or left hand retrieve. So it makes sense to put your spinning rods in the right side of the boat or the starboard side of the boat. However, some people may retrieve with the right hand, so you need to do just the opposite. Um, Another thing you can do if you have people that are going to be spending most of their time fishing and you're going to do most of the time pulling, employ the rear-facing rod tubes. That way, they can get a hold of their rods and you don't have to do anything. You can get right on the platform and start pulling and they can get to their equipment as soon as possible. Fly rods are the easiest to do with. They do well on either side of the boat, side or starboard. Uh, but again, if you're fishing with both spinning and fly rod gear, it makes sense most of the time to put your fly rods on the left or port side of the boat because, again, most people are going to be using spinning gear uh, with their left hand. So these little tricks uh, will maximize the space that you have on the boat and, again, allow you to get to your equipment as quickly as possible to make the most out of it every opportunity you have. Another thing you can do with your fly rods to make sure that they don't tangle up, especially if you're going to try to put two rods in one tube, which we'll do sometimes if we have a lot of rods in the boat, is to take your leader and wrap it around the stripping guide so all your line is flush with the rod. That way it's easy for you to take it and put it in the rod tube. And if you have two rods in the same rod tube, they won't hang up or tangle with each other. Another good trick to do when you're racking your rods is um, the way you insert the rod itself into the rod tube. Um, you don't want to, you know, put a lot of wear and tear in your guide. So the best thing to do is insert it into the rod tube and tilt your guide straight up. That way, as they're going into the tube, they're not hitting the edge of the tube. And then rotate it down when you're there and simply rack it. That way you don't hear a lot of nasty clicks and you're not hurting your rod. Sometimes you have more fly rods and tubes, but you can get away with shoving two rods in one tube if you're careful about it. And here's one way you can do it. Take your bigger of the two rods, insert it, have the grip on the bunk here. Then you can take your second rod, make sure you go above where the blank is, insert it all the way down, and then come down and you can put the fighting butt on the bunk and you can accommodate two rods easily in one rod tube.